Yeah, today's a big day. We're gonna build the prototype version four of the Liberator, the compressor brick press. Behind me is prototype version three. So we've never built this machine before. No one's ever built this machine before. We just finished designing it a week ago. Marchin has built previous versions of it and a lot of a lot of the same procedures are carried forward. So we're, we're using his wisdom to assist in those processes. I've been, I've been building up for this. I've been looking forward to this for months now. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited and it's, it's gonna be a fun day. Okay, okay, yeah. Is that right? Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. They just, they just cut me off. got to drill, I think it's three quarter inch bolt holes through two uh, pieces of steel that, that are clamped together right now. And so this has to be very precise. We can't have any vibration. So if the hole is bigger than it needs to be, it's going to vibrate. So this is an iron worker machine. It's a hydraulic powered shear. Um, so it takes two very hard pieces of steel and rubs them together like a pair of scissors and it shears two pieces of metal in half. So we're putting this right through this hole and it's going to make a really precise hole in your metal without bending it. To torch a hole this precisely would for one take more time to do than just punching. Also the, the troubleshooting, if your hole is imprecise you'll have to do a lot more work just trying to get things to fit together. 32.13 minus 25. Seven inches, so that's the distance between this hole and that hole, and that's exactly what this should be. It is exactly seven inches, so we're on the right track. If you like super heat it up the side so that you have those two are uh, molten across the entire face, right, across the entire face like that, and then you put them together, and you're like, now it's one piece, one solid piece. have a single package of documentation that we're all using, albeit not all using the same parts. We're using different parts that are associated with different parts of the CB press that we're each making. We have the entire set of fabrication drawings for the CB press on this document. Now we're editing a Google spreadsheet collaboratively. As you can see, there's right now four other people working on this. We're recording our insights so the insightful information that each of us learns from doing these processes now in retrospect or even during the operation can record them so that future operations are that much easier and error free. Um, challenges include getting, getting stuff to fit tight that needs to fit tight. Today we should see more structure standing um, if I had to put a percentage on it, I don't know. I'd say we'll we'll cross the 50% mark. Uh, I'd like to see I'd like to see it finished tomorrow. I'm not positive that's going to be happening. I'd like it to finish by tomorrow.
while you guys mount the hopper, I can work on mounting the cylinder. But it's Good. totally within reach. Yeah. It's totally within reach. Great! Right. Right. Here we have the main structural core with the outer structural arms. Right now, Gabi is mounting the hopper interface saddle. That's a new design for version four. The hopper is gonna sit inside of there. Let's go look at the hopper. This is gonna be the hopper. As you can see the other CV behind me, you can see how the hopper sits on top and collects the soil. That interface saddle that Gabby's working on is what holds this. This sits inside of that saddle. We also have the grate. It's a different shape than version three. We got narrower uh, for, for geometric reasons. This is the shaker. And this is a, this is a, a T-shaped head of a hammer that'll move in and out. And that hammer is just gonna pound against the hopper and shake soil down through the funnel into the chamber where bricks are pressed. I've been looking at this machine for months now, you know, and uh, and to actually see it in real life, it's hard to realize that it's separate. Like, I need to take a little time to myself and, and, uh, and breathe to realize what's really been done.